This is the uh, Legends of Ultimate cast. I'm doing a review with uh, Joshua Burrell of Logan Shots Reviews. A uh, good friend of mine, he's been with Alden for quite a while now. So uh, that's our introduction, and now he can do his. No, I am. And uh, Josh Burrell here, or Logan Shops as I'm known. I'm here with Jon Snow, the uh, the creator of Legends of Albedon. And uh, yeah, so uh, it is the five-year anniversary. Yay! Yeah, I think I've known about the game for what, two years now? Just about three. Two, two and a half or three. Yeah, something, something like that, that. yeah. It's an awesome role playing game. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it over to you and uh, let you tell us and tell all the the listeners and everything that are either watching this live or watching it afterwards about Legends of Albedon. Legends of Albedon is a free to play tabletop uh, dungeon crawler system that is available at legendsofalbedon.com. It's free to play for maximum accessibility. Uh, we've been out for five years. We've gotten a total of 5,000 views, uh, official this year, uh, day before yesterday, actually. And, uh, it is high fantasy adventure for those who are, uh, seeking a place to find refuge from the struggles of this world. Um, we just released a novel. We've got a whole bunch of new content coming, uh, August 1st, new systems, new mods, uh, new classes, races, etc. It's a big time for Legends of Albany and a big time for all of its players. Yeah, because right now it is in its uh, third edition, correct? Yep, we've been holding steady at third edition for three years now. Yeah, and so so the the new one is going to progress to a, a fourth edition, completely changing everything up, or what? What is the new one that's going to be launching on August first? Uh, the new update that's coming out on August first is the oh, there's that. Uh, the newest season uh, okay. for our game. We utilize the game as a service model popularized by video games like Overwatch and Destiny 2, but uh, the seasonal content is free to access. There is no uh, battle pass, so to speak. Uh, we will be releasing several new uh, optional systems, such as an enchanting system and a potion making system. Uh, we will be adding a new race for character creation, as well as a new class or two, as well as some challenging new encounters for uh, new and old players alike. Mm -hmm. And just so everybody knows, and they can, they can see on uh, on my screen right now, that yeah, Legends of Albedon uh, is a dot .wordpress.com, but if you just put it in legendsofalbedon.com, it'll, it'll take you to the website. Everything is available for download that you need to play here on the website. You can see the, the menus up top for character creation, how to play, the arcane libraries where you can find spells, the director is what you call the the GM uh, that actually leads all the stuff um, in a game of Albanon. But the, uh, all the dungeons, bosses, curated contents. Let's say you go ahead and click this so everybody can see. Yeah, this is you got the map of Albanon. You've got all the different downloads for adventures and uh, different stuff that, that has gone through um, through the years um, for everything, as well as uh, my live Twitch playthrough we did a, a while ago. You can find all of this stuff on the website, everything you need to play uh, to play Alpadin. Yeah. yeah, and uh, the that Twitch playthrough is still one of my proudest moments as a game developer. <laughs> yeah, it was, I'm not it, gonna was lie. It, it went really well. Yeah. Uh, you guys had fun. Uh, the rules were understandable, mm. fair and concise and easy, the way we designed. Yeah. Um, I couldn't, I could not have been prouder, and I'm still extremely proud. Uh, we've, we've been through a lot. Um, I have been through a lot, especially last year, mm. and uh, Alden kind of was the project that I used to keep myself anchored and keep moving forward. Um, when I was really in pretty much the darkest year of my life. Yeah, I know a lot. A lot of people used used gaming during uh, during especially the COVID times and uh, everything to you know to to get through that. There's a lot of online playing and everything. And we we played on Alvin online. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, you have a Discord, you know, and you actually play yeah, yeah play with players on the the Discord usually weekly, right on Fridays. Yep, uh, we play weekly uh, if we're able to get the whole play group together. If not, um, we do still have lower uh, threat skirmishes, etc. for uh, players who want to pick up a game but we don't have a full party available for. 
Uh, in other words, if you do pop up on the dis Discord, we're more than willing to have you, and uh, we're also going to be totally fine to host something, uh, be it just you or you and a couple of your friends. And the difficulty for all of it is scaling, so we're not going to just drop you into a raid and go, have fun. Yeah. So I'm actually that would be rude. copying copying the link to the Discord right now. Actually, while while we're talking, I'm uh, jumping around. I'm gonna put it into the uh, put it into the chat of our Twitch right now, and I'll also include it in the um, well, right there. I'll also include it in the uh, the the description. Sorry, I'm blanking on words. <laughs> in the description on the YouTube video, which where we will be exporting this to uh, afterwards. So. Even if you're watching it live and you want that information uh, and you didn't grab it from the chat or, or click on it right now to join the Elvin and Discord, it'll be available on our YouTube uh, channel. You know, everything is Logan Charles Reviews. Logan Charles Reviews YouTube. Yay, go check it out. And you also have a YouTube channel. I should announce that. Dragon Ridge Studios, correct? Yep, Dragon Ridge Studios. That's where we post our uh, Dragon Ridge casts like this one. Uh, that's what it'll be called on my YouTube channel. Mm. Uh, we also post build optimization videos. Uh, gameplay videos are a little rarer these days than I'm entirely comfortable with us because my current camera is just mm. horrible. Yeah. So I haven't been able to uh, record one of those in quite a while, but I am hoping to be able to start doing that again soon. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. So now, e even though everything on the Albuden website is is free, everything's free to play, there is um, some uh, some premium uh, stuff that you can actually pay for um, to access. I'm going to I'm going to show. Uh, oh, is it, why is it not going back to the website? I'm trying to go back to the website. And it's, uh, it's giving me problems. There we go. OK. Um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to show show one of them on camera right now. This is no longer available. And it might be backwards on on camera because of the way cameras are set up, but this is actually hardcover compendium of the third edition rules um, that was available on Barnes and Nobles uh, a little while ago. But um, is there a a hardcover edition of the rules that's available uh, right now? The their updated rules? Yeah, there is. They are a little out of date, which is why we'll probably be updating them pretty soon. Um, and as for uh, RPG book collectors is definitely a good thing to pick up. We usually put a couple of extra things in there for people who, you know, uh, go beyond and pick up the hardcover. Um, but uh, we'll be updating that probably in September to get everything in line, add the new races, add the new rule tweaks that we did. Uh, we'll probably work in the uh, optional systems that are releasing in August as well to make the Elite Collection back up to date with uh, everything that has happened since the Elite Edition went live last August. Yeah. I know, I know. The, um, like you're saying, the collectors that like to have the hardback, I, as an RPG player, I have to have a, uh, a hardback, you know, physical copy, even if I have, like, everything digital. As like, You can see on my shelf over here, full of Dungeon and Dragon books, I have you know, all the 5th edition, everything with the box sets and this and that. And I think I have some 4th edition box sets to throw in there, too. But, yeah, I need the physical. <laughs> so, yeah, as soon as they, I, could get, I got that from you, I'm like, yes, get it right here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and if you do pick up the book, even before we update in September, the poor gameplay elements of Legends of Alden have not changed. Uh, the, so if you pick up the book, you'll still be able to learn to play the game. You'll be able to play perfectly proficiently with your friends if for some reason you don't have access to the website. I don't know why, but weird stuff happens with the internet all the time. Yeah, I was, I'm really, uh, like when I just went tried to go back to the, the main page of it, it said, oh, it's not available. Then I clicked the back button, and it went back to the, <laughs> the main page. So yeah, internet is kind of crazy sometimes. Um, if you're not able to visit the website you'll still be able to play with your friends using the hardcover book that as it is currently available it's just some of the classes have been rebalanced uh, a couple of slight rule modifications that don't alter gameplay but do make it a little more balanced uh won't be there but ultimately it's not going to be the same as if you tried to play a fourth edition D, &D character in fifth edition D, &D. <laughs> yeah so I'm, I'm actually in the how to play section on the website, as anybody that, that's watching the video right now on my side um, can see. And I, I wanted to go over, it, it's it's D6 based. I know a lot of the, the role playing games that are out right now, they, they're D20 
um, based for rolling and hitting, and then you got various dice uh, for your weapons. But but Alvin specifically uses a, a D6 system. I'm trying to find where the attacks and stuff are. I'm, uh, I'm just like scrolling that's around. That's usually found in uh, character creation. Character creation. Uh, it goes, that's right. It goes over um, the attacks and everything. Yeah. But why don't you go ahead and tell about the about the D6 system and and how that works with uh, with Alvin. Um, with Alvin, we use a D6 system because you can go to pretty much any store and pick up a pack of D6 for a single dollar. Uh, cost effectiveness, both to the developer and to the end user, is first and foremost in our design philosophy. If you would have to pick up something, like have to pick up something to play the game that costs too much, something's wrong somewhere. Yeah. Uh, so the D6 system for Albedon works with uh, everything being determined by a natural roll, uh, which means there aren't set app modifications unless you're using certain items from the item shop that you decided to purchase. Um, attacking is resolved with a natural roll. So for instance, if you were a fighter, you would have to roll a four or higher to hit and a four or higher to defend. And uh, depending on if you hit and their defense roll failed, you would then roll a single d6 for damage. Uh, everything is done by d6s, um, and with the way that attack speed and movement speed work, um, if you're wanting to really pile it on a single target, you can designate a bunch of your attack speed and just roll a bunch of dice at once instead of having to go, okay, so we're going to roll resolve this attack first, that one failed, then we're going to roll this attack, that one succeeded, so now we move on to the next stage, and then we're going to roll the next attack. Uh, everything Gobi Design has cost, ease of understanding, and ease of execution in mind. Yeah, because I, I know, uh, we, yeah. We don't, you know, we don't want you to be trapped at the table for two and a half hours trying to resolve a single turn. Yeah, like my, my uh, I play a, a Dwarven Physician, usually when we're playing, and uh, yeah, just going around being able to, to move, and then it's like, okay, I'm going to shoot this guy with my healing crossbow, one of my team members, to try to heal him, and I'm just, you know, rolling the dice, oh, I hit on a four plus, okay, I got that one, that one, that one is a hit, so I'm doing this, this, this much damage, they're, they're healing, not damage, yeah, but same thing from whenever I'm rolling against the bad guys, you know, and they got their defense dice, and you know, whenever we roll... John will roll, tell me, okay, two of your guys hit, roll damage. You know, roll. So you're able to just roll the D6s all at once. I got like a handful, of like seven D6s, and I'm just like, we're going to see which ones actually hit. Yeah, it's 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 simple, it's easy, and it's easy to understand, too. Yeah, a fun story about that. Uh, when I was designing Legends of Alden's first edition, this is back in uh, 2016, I challenged myself in a way. And so I had a couple of friends at the time who were in tabletop gaming, and I called them over, uh, two of them called over Messenger, and one of them I called over actual phone because they didn't have Facebook at the time. And um, I asked them if they wanted to make a character. And 201, all three of them were able to successfully create their character with no context for the gamer systems or anything mm -hmm. over the phone. Nice, nice. Simplicity is key. Yeah. Because as someone who almost had a nervous breakdown trying to level up their spellcaster in uh, D and D three point five, yeah. I didn't want to do that to anyone. Yeah, some of the systems are, are overly complicated. And you've played fifth edition D and D with me before, and I think you can agree that fifth edition is a lot better than than three point five, and it's definitely a lot better 100%. than three percent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I love I love fifth edition how it streamlines everything it makes it easier and and, and that's what you got to go for really uh, a lot today with uh, games people have shorter attention spans <laughs> you know um, and every in addition it's just life itself just doesn't stop yeah I tell um, I tell everybody nowadays that, that it's it's inst it, we're in an instant gratification society nowadays everything you know you're you go on Netflix and you can binge a whole season whenever they release it it's like oh with the new um he man series that Kevin Smith just came out with it's ten episodes but the first day it released yesterday five episodes right away you got half your season right there on the first day everything is instant gratification so everybody wants stuff right now and to make a system like this that's easy to understand and uh you can just plop down i know i think i made my character in like five minutes maybe seven max you just sit right down with it on the website scroll 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 okay fill, scroll scroll fill scroll fill done you know and it's it, it's great it's simple um easy to understand rules 
Exactly. And that's that's very important to us to keep that simplicity because several of the things that we're introducing in August do introduce complexity. Mm. But the thing with those systems is they are completely optional. Um, if you do not want to use those systems, you do not have to touch them. Yeah. You, they're, they're completely off by themselves in the uh, downloads section once they release. So if you want to take your game deeper, if you want to enjoy those more complicated things because you've got more time or you're not mentally exhausted through the rigors of your job or education or whatever, uh, you can take it there, but you don't have to go, well, now i got to figure this out. Yeah. Um, because, again, as, as a longtime gamer, those expansions that have complex new me mechanics and are required, it's like integrated, mm -hmm. I've never enjoyed that because it... It makes it difficult for me to enjoy myself. That's that's not something we want to do here. Yeah. Now, now speaking of the website, I'm going to go back over to it on on my screen here. That um, it's been getting it's been getting a lot more a lot more um, action lately. Um, I, we we were talking about it in the Discord. That is, you've been you hit five thousand views, and that um, yeah, the other day somebody actually visited it and then downloaded every single available piece of content in like one visit. You know, that's 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 awesome for somebody like to come. You're a freaking legend. Yeah, somebody to come in, look at everything, and be like, "I want all of this." Boom, <laughs> just download. That's, yeah, that's that great. one person mm -hmm. on July seventeenth generated fifty views. Nice, nice. One person. Yeah, fifty views. That's and cool. I don't know who you are, dude, but if you're out there. <laughs> Thank you. You're a legend. Yeah. So I want to give a uh, go. Go ahead and let you give a quick shout out to to the people that are helping you develop the different stuff. Like uh, like uh, was that Shalazar? I don't know if you want to use real names or Discord names. Well, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Because I think a big shout out to our guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we've got uh, one of the guys on our development team. He's been with us for three years now. Um, is Shal here? Uh, yeah. He is the mainliner who helps me test PvP and stuff. Uh, he also helped us come up with the Artificer's Vault raid, which was uh, the premium-focused content of uh, Season of the East, which was back in May? It was April and May of this year. Uh, Artificer Vault, great raid. Uh, he came up with the mechanics and the basic plot line. I just did the structuring, putting it... To Mm, sorry. <laughs> yeah. uh, putting it together. Um, and we we're working on integrating somebody else into our development team. Uh, he is helping me with some of the uh, optional systems that are coming out. Tactical Toads. Uh, he's going to get a kick out of the <laughs> shout it out. For you. <laughs> nice. Um, uh, great guy. Really smart. Uh, and he's helping me. Uh, really trick out one of the systems coming out in uh, August. Awesome. And so even though they're they're helping you do all this content and everything, you still you still put a lot of the the lore and the background and stuff. Uh, you developed a lot of that yourself and um, want to let everybody know you've actually taken it and compiled the stories and stuff into a book that is available on Barnes and Nobles right now. I'm putting up the uh, the website right now link uh, you can see it. Yeah, Barnes and Nobles. The book is called Legends of Albedon, The Falling Stars Anthology. It's uh, currently $19.99 for a paperback, or the if you get it on Nook, it's $9.99. Um, it qualifies for free shipping, it tells me, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's got multiple multiple collections of the stories in here, like The Wolf's Den, Gates of Madness, Roots, I'm like reading the title there, Wheels Within Wheels. And um, yeah, just, um, it's just... A lot of the lore background and stories, and you're able to pick it up at BarnesandNobles.com. It's not not in stores right now, correct? Just yet. Yeah. yeah. Once once it starts selling, mm -hmm. uh, they'll start dropping it in stores, and if it sells enough copies, I'll actually be able to do a book signing. Oh, nice. Yeah. So if you uh, Barnes and Nobles self publishing actually really hooks up its authors if they take off. Nice. Yeah. So if you're if you're enjoying all the stuff on the Legend of Albedon uh, game, you get it from the website, and you want to expand on that, yeah, make sure you, you check out the book. Do you have any any other um, books for Legend of Albedon on on Barnes and Nobles? I know the the compendium one that I have. I keep clicking the wrong window trying to come back. The compendium one was on Barnes and Nobles right now, but it's not anymore. So it's like what you said, one of seven <laughs> that were actually printed. 
The, uh, yeah, the one that he showed is one of yeah, seven copies of that that got printed before, mm -hmm. uh, we changed the cover art. Yeah. Uh, so that's an extremely rare item that he has there. The uh, only <laughs> other one that I know for a fact where it is, uh, is with my mom. No, uh, so, yeah. Um, the compendium is still up there okay. currently. Oh. Um, it's just got different art. Uh, so he has the limited edition artwork variant model. Okay. Um, we also have the Tower of the Dead raid, mm -hmm. which, um, while it's not our hardest encounter in current Albany, it's still a really solid raid, really fun to do with friends. And, uh, as a GM, if, if you enjoy griefing your players, Tower of the Dead is for you. Yeah, nice. Um, uh, we also have a couple of short stories available on Amazon. But I'll provide you with the links to those, and you can put them in the description. Okay, no it's... problem. Yeah, so they're not in the end. They're, and they're older too. And while they are connected to the Falling Stars anthology, they are not essential for understanding. Mm -hmm. I'll expand it a little bit, but they're not. They're not essential books. They're kind of the groundwork for what we did with Falling Stars anthology, just not quite to the quality of Falling Stars anthology. Yeah. If that makes sense. I was younger, not quite as experienced with the writing. I was. So there is, um, yeah, try, trying to so bump your, your stuff a little bit for, for income-wise. There is a, a premium shop on the, on the website, and you can see that on the screen right here, where for uh, $4.99, you can uh, purchase stuff that's on the page, but it, uh, you haven't posted anything in a while for the Infinite Adventures. Infinite Adventure, I remember you were developing that deck uh, for Infinite Adventures. Um, what happened? Uh, the deck is available on the website. Is it? Yeah, it's in the download section. Oh, okay. Download the Infinite Adventure deck right now. Okay, so it's not um, part of the premium shop anymore? I'm surprised the premium shop is still there. I thought I'd take no, it down. No, the link's still there. Okay, maybe there's not a premium shop. Totally ignore what I just said about the premium yeah, shop. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's on me. I, I didn't really talk about it. I did a post about it back in uh, yeah. either the tail end of 2019 or the beginning of 2020. Yeah, there's a little while uh, ago. I tried the premium shop. But it felt dishonest to the mission of all. Okay. Yeah, you like to keep it free to free to play, uh, free yeah. content and everything. Mm -hmm. We do have a Teespring store. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, I, thought, I didn't load up that website, but yeah, you do. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you you 